Ken from Rock and Metal Radio, along with Matt James of Black Top Mojo, performing tonight in Zilla, Washington at Purim Hall. So, how's the road been for you guys? Up since the last time we saw you, what, 2017? Uh, been here twice. A <laughs> lot more shows since yeah. 2017. Was it five years worth of stuff? Yeah. Um, you dropped two albums. Minus, minus COVID. Um, yeah, lots of, lots of touring. We've been busy. How do you like coming to Yakima and Zilla area? Because you mentioned at one time of possibly doing an annual routine. Yeah. And is that still on the table as an option down the road? Uh, what's that now? And coming here annually. Oh, an annual thing. Okay. Uh, uh, last time you mentioned. I thought you said that. something about an animal routine. Like oh, this. no. <laughs> you know, white, white, white tigers or something, you know? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm, I'm deaf after all these shows. Oh, yeah. You know, like this, this was going on. Yeah, man, um, this is actually, we, we requested to come here. We were supposed to, I think, uh, it was between here or Seattle, and we told them we wanted to come to, come to Zillow. Well, man, I can tell you right now, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, no, definitely, man. As you can this tell is, by the merch table, so does everyone this else. This was one of the first, uh, we were talking about the first show that we came here in 2017. This was one of the first shows where we showed up somewhere, and there was a, a whole room full of people. And uh, that tour, especially in that van, we played a lot of shows where there was, uh, you know, five or ten people. Or, or um, in the case of Morgantown, West Virginia, one night there was nobody. There was zero people. We played to the sound people and the bartenders and stuff. So um, this show definitely stuck out for us, and uh, we will definitely always come back here for as long as we can. That's that's good to hear. <laughs> I was kind of wondering about that one. Yeah. So real quickly, off the self-titled album, kind of a two-part question. First off. Wicked Woman is such a phenomenal video. And there are so many, who wrote the script? Because there are so many jabs at what's going on currently. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, it was a combination of all of us, really. And um, we have our buddy, um, his name's Drew McQuistion, and he wrote a bunch of jokes and stuff. And we kind of shot them back and forth until we, we had some that funny scene in the convenience store. That, whatever, was, yeah. that was good, and oh shit, Chuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That one happened on the spot, so that was, uh, yeah, pretty organic. Um, yeah. Back to the self-titled album. Um, what's the two favorite tracks that stand out to you that you did, and what's kind of a short, brief explanation behind the meaning? Of the of, the of like the two songs, like your favorite oh, two other than yeah. Wicked Woman. I don't know. I liked. Uh, we did. We did some animated videos for Darling I Won't Tell and that, uh, yeah. Jealousy. The trilogy wasn't that they a go, trilogy? Yeah. So it's yeah. kind of like I've always wanted to write a concept album, but I'm not smart enough to write an entire concept album. So we wrote three songs, and I was like, these three songs they go together, and everybody's like, okay, man. You're watching and, the animated videos, and I was flows. like, you'll see, man, you'll see, and then yeah. All right. Well, all. That, <laughs> that actually answered yeah. that very well. All right. Thank you. And then what about? Congratulations, by the way. 
on being a dad. Thank you. Yeah, so congratulations on that one. How has now being a dad affected the band per se, or has it really affected anything being a family man now? Um, it's definitely, uh, you play way more shows and just uh, come back to the bus and, and hang out rather than um, stay out all night. And, um, no, but uh, as far as the band life and everything goes, I don't think it's changed very much. Uh, Nathan actually just had a kid as well. Um, oh, about congrats a month to him ago. too. So um, <laughs> we're kind of going through it together, but it's uh, it definitely makes you miss home a lot more. Um, it's it's hard uh, leaving them, but luckily we live in a time of technology and stuff. We can FaceTime, we can kind of yeah. see each other more often than not, you know. Okay. Um, since they lifted the lockdowns due to the COVID mess, whatever, we'll leave that one alone. Um, what has been one of your favorite shows and favorite artists to play with? Um, Rockfest was pretty, uh, we did Rockfest in Kadat, Wisconsin last year. And uh, that was one of the first shows where I had, uh, after COVID, where like there was a, a few thousand people out there and stuff and um, you know big rock festival yeah and, and and we didn't know if we were ever gonna get to have big rock festivals ever again at the you know at the time and um, going out there and just hearing that many people cheer at one time was uh, a little bit emotional after those two years of not doing anything you know I can imagine so, uh, that was definitely a big one all right so last question it's a little warm <laughs> what's the future I've asked this before and I remember the last time you had answered you guys had quit all your jobs and you all moved in together sure. to pursue Black Dot Mojo which look where you're at now so the question again is with wrapping up this tour are you guys going to be taking a break or going to the grind and the second part of that question is technically you, you're proud to be independent but sure. would you ever be willing to sign if someone approached you, or have you been approached? Um, been approached a couple times. Um, haven't had the right deal come along yet, but um, there's some stuff in the works that we're pretty excited about. Um, after we're done touring, we got a whole little fall run planned up through the middle of September, I think, and after we're done touring with that, we've been writing a lot of songs. and. Uh, I think I, we all have a folder on our phone that's got like a hundred some riffs that everybody's been sending back and forth and um, so we're gonna have to take some time and come through all of those and see if we can't all come right. up with a you know a new album or at least a few new singles or something like that. And, uh, well you guys are always busy it seems. Yeah, <laughs> uh, gonna continue writing into the holidays and spend a little time at home and uh, Malcolm, our new guitar player, is actually having a baby in October. Oh, so nice. We're just popping around. Well, actually, that night. was one question I kind of took off the table because um, I read something, so I didn't want to bring anything up. Oh, no. How's the response been with him filling in? Uh, it's been great, man. He's really stepped up into the role very well. Um, he learned 20 songs in 19 days and then uh, had two rehearsals with us, I think, and then and that was it, and he was on his first tour with us so I mean uh, he really stepped up and uh, we're everything's still cool with with Kiefer as well we played a show at home um, oh right on and uh, on July 2nd he came out and he did a song with us at the oh that's the show. awesome so, I mean yeah we're all still friends we still yeah uh, well I know there was no bad blood or nothing it was <laughs> no, just yeah. unfortunate yeah. circumstances yeah, yeah yeah that's all it was yeah all right well thank you for returning to Perham Hall again and can't wait till the next time. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, Thanks Matt, for, uh, and have a great show. Thanks for having me again. Oh, man. no, not a problem. Yeah. I'd like to make it an annual thing myself, too. Absolutely. <laughs> That's pretty damn cool, man. This next song is a song that we haven't played all tour, but uh, we have somebody asked for it, and uh, we felt like playing it tonight. It's, uh, it's off our new album. This song right here is called Hold Me Down. See how this shit goes.